very good morning to all. So, in the last class, we learnt numbers from 81 to 100. So, we learnt about 100. So, 100 is a three digit number, right? So, here you can see 10 towers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many towers are there? There are 10 towers. In each tower, how many blocks are there? There are 10 blocks. So, see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 towers of 10 block each. That makes 10 tens. So, total how many blocks are there? There are 100 blocks. You can see the picture here. There are 100 blocks. So, what is 10 tens? 10 tens makes 100. 100 is a 3 digit number. So, 100, 0 tens, 0 ones makes 100. So, what is 10 tens? 10 tens makes 100. So, let's move on to the exercise. Page number 127. Here, what you need to do is you have to join the dots. You have to join the dots from 1. Then you have to complete this picture. Then you have two questions given. Name the animal traced above. So when you join the dots, you'll get the picture of an animal. And you have to write the name of the animal in the space given. See the next question. Which is the largest land animal in the world? Then you have to write which is the largest land animal in the world. So, this one you can do it by yourself. Coming to the second one. That is in page number 128. Count backwards starting from the first number. Then you have to fill the missing numbers. So, which is the first number given? 100. So, 100 is a two digit number or a three digit number? It is a three digit number. So, what we need to do here? We need to count backwards from number 100. Which number comes before 100? 99. So, we have to write here 99. Then, which number comes before 99? 98. Then, which number comes before 98? 97. So, likewise, you have to count backwards and you have to fill in numbers till 40. Here you need to do backward counting. 100, 99, 98, 97. Which number comes before 97? 96. Then 95. Then 94. Then 93. Then 92. Likewise, you have to fill in numbers till 40. So, you can do this by yourself. You understood how to do right. So, this you can do it by yourself. See the next one. So, page number 129. So, fill in the blanks. So, see the first one. Six tens and two ones. So, what is six tens and two ones? That makes 62. See the second one. Which number is given here? 51. So, what is the place value of 1? 1's. What about 5? 10's. So, 5 10's, 1 1's. That makes 51. See the next one. 8 10's and 4 1's. 8 10's, 80. 4 1's, 4. 4 1's, 4. So, what is 80 plus 4? 80. Four. So, you have to write here 84. See the next one. 66. So, what is the place value of 6? 1's. So, in this 1's place you write 6. What about this? 10's. So, you write 6 here. So, 6 10's and 6 1's makes 66. What about the next one? 5 10's, 7 1's. So, what is 5 10's? 50. What is 7 ones? 7. So, what is 50 plus 7? 57. So, you write here 57. Then see the next one. 80. 0 ones, 8 tenths. So, in ones place, 
0 in tens place 8. So 8 tens and 0 ones makes 80. So like that can you do the next two? 9 tens, 3 ones which number? 93. 73. How do we write it as 7 tens, 3 ones? See the second one. Write the number names. For the following numbers, what you need to do? You need to write their number names. Which is the first number given? 65. So what is the spelling of 60? S-I-X-T-Y. Then you have to write F-I-V-E. 65. This is the number name. What about this number? Which number is this? 86. So first we write A T E I G H T Y then S I X. It's 86. So like that you have to write the number names for the following numbers. 77, 42, 90, 56. The next one. Complete the number sequences. So, see the first number given 60. After 60 which number is given? 61. Is it forward counting or backward counting? It is forward counting. 60, 61. Then which number comes after 61? 62. Then which number comes after 62? 63. Then which number comes after 63? 64. Right. Then see the next one, B, 45, then there is a space given, then 43. So do we need to do forward counting or backward counting? So see which number comes before 45 and 43, which number? 44. So see here, 45, 44, 43, so this is backward counting. So which number comes before 43? 42. Then which number comes before 42? 41. So 45, 44, 43, 42 and 41. See the next one. 73. Then you can see here 76. So which number comes between 73 and 76? 74, 75. So it is forward counting. 74, 75, 76, 77. So you can Fill in these blanks. Next one. 80, 79. So this is backward counting. So which number comes before 80? 79. Then which number comes before 79? 78. Then 77. Then 76. You can fill in the blanks. Coming to the next one. Fill in the boxes. So you have already learnt about before numbers, after numbers and between numbers. So let's revise it once more. So here you can see the between numbers. So 65. So what do you need to do? You have to write the number that comes before 65 and after 65. You can make counting. You can start counting from number 60. So 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. So which number comes before 65? That is 64. And which number comes after 65? 66. Then see the next one. Number 74. Just start count, counting from 70, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. So which number is coming before 74? 73. Which number is coming after 74? 75. So likewise, you can write the before and after numbers. See the next one. Here, before and after numbers are given. And what you need to do? You have to write the between numbers. So let's do one. Which number comes between 75 and 77? From 75 count. 75, 76, 77. So which number is coming? 76. So... Between 75 and 77, 76 is coming. So what about the next one? 57, 59. So which number is coming between 57 and 59? Just count from 57. 
57, 58, 59. So which number is coming? 58. So likewise, you can fill in the following answers. Coming to the fifth one, circle the greater number. So you have already learned to compare numbers and to find out which is greater number, which is smaller number and to find out equal numbers. So here what you need to do is you have to circle the greater number. So first one is already done. Let's see the second one. So which all numbers are given? The first number is 67. What is the second number? 89. So both these numbers are two digit numbers, right? So what you need to do first? First, let's see the tens place of both numbers. So for 67, 6 comes in tens place. So 6 tens. What about 89? 8. 8 tens. So let's compare 6 tens and 8 tens. So which is greater? 6 tens or 8 tens? That is 8 tens. So 8 tens and 9 ones makes 9, 89. So which number is greater? 89. So we have to circle 89. What about the third one? 77 and 7. So the first one, 77 is a two digit number. What about 7? It is a one digit number. So we have already learnt that two digit numbers are always greater than one digit number. So we can easily say that which number is greater? 77. So you can circle 77. Like that, you can compare numbers and you can circle the greater number. So see the next one. Circle the smaller number. So first one is already done. Let's do the second one. So which all numbers are given? 37, 89. So both numbers are two digit numbers. So first, let's see the tens place of both numbers. So for 37, 3 in tens place. What about 89? 8 in tens place. So 3 tens and 8 tens. Which one is smaller? 3 tens. So which number is smaller number? 37. So we have to circle 37. Then what about number D? 4, 44. One digit number and there is a two digit number. So which one is smaller? One digit number. So 4 is smaller. So like that, you can do the rest of the questions. See the seventh one. Here, you can see leaves. What you have to do is, you have to color the leaf with smallest number yellow. So from these numbers, you need to find the smallest number. Then you have to color it yellow. Then from these numbers, you have to find the greatest number. Then which color? You have to shade it green. Then rest of the numbers, you have to color brown. Okay, first you need to find the smallest number. Then you have to color it yellow. Then you have to find the greatest number. Then you have to color it green. Then rest of the numbers, you have to color it brown. Okay, then fill in the blanks with greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. So we have already learned this symbols. So see the first numbers. So there are two numbers, 16, 19. So you need to find which number is greater. So which number is greater? 19. So see the tens place of both numbers? It is one. They are same numbers. So let's see the ones place of both numbers. Six and nine. Six ones, nine ones. Which is greater? 9. So 19 is greater than 16. So we should put this simple. This is the greater than simple. And this simple is always open to greater number. And we can read this as 19 greater than 16. And 16 is smaller than 19. The last one. 58 and 58. So these are both numbers are same. So we need to put which simple? We need to put equal to simple. And we read this as 58 is equal to 58. What about number B? 83, 38. So which number is greater here? 83. 
and we need to put greater than symbol and we read this as 83 greater than 38 and 38 less than 83. Likewise, you have to compare the numbers and you have to put the correct symbols for numbers. See the next one, ninth one. Rewrite the numbers in decreasing order. So what is this decreasing order? Arrange in biggest to smallest. Arrange numbers from biggest to smallest. So see the first one, which all numbers are given? 30, 50, 40, 20. And we have to arrange in biggest to smallest. So which number comes first? So first let's see the tens place of all numbers. So three tens, five tens, four tens, two tens. So which one is greater? It is five tens. So first we'll write 50. Then after 50, four tens. That makes 40. So we write 40. Then 30, then 20. So 50, 40, 30, 20. This is the correct order. This is the decreasing order. 50 to 20. Then, which all numbers are given? 35, 11, 28, 58. So we need to arrange them in decreasing order. So see the tens place of numbers. 3 tens, 1 tens, 2 tens, 5 tens. So which one is greater? 5 tens, that is 58. Then after 58, 35. Then after 35, 28. Then 11. So likewise, you have to arrange the rest of the numbers in decreasing order. So see the next one. Increasing order. So what is increasing order? Arrange numbers from smallest to biggest. So which all numbers are given? 44, 33, 22, 55. So see the tens place of all numbers. 4 tens, 3 tens, 2 tens, 5 tens. So which one is smaller? 2 tens. So what's first number is 22. Then after that, 33. So let's write here 33. Then after that 44. Then 55. So this is in which order? In increasing order from smallest to biggest. So likewise you have to arrange the rest of the numbers in which order? In increasing order that is from smallest to biggest. The next one is speed banks. So there are some questions here. I'll read out the question and you can write down the answer in the box. So first one, I am the number that comes after 56. I am. So write the answer in the space. Done. The second one, I am the number that comes before 75. Number comes before 75. I am. So you have to write the number that comes before 75. Then the C. I am the number that comes between 74 and 76. I am. Which number? See the next one. We are three friends. How many friends? Three. We come before 68 and after 64. You have to think of the three numbers that comes before 68 and after 64. And you have to write the three numbers here. Then the next one, the last one. We are the numbers that come in between 92 and 95. So which are the numbers that comes between 92 and 95? You have to write it here. So you have completed. You can take a picture of this and you can send it to Microsoft Teams. See the next one. This is something very interesting. So a pony wanted to meet his animal friends in the forest. But what happened? This pony forgot their animals, their friends name. So what we need to do? We need to help him. We need to help him and find out their names by decoding using the clue box. 
So we are going to help Pony to find out his friends by decoding the clue box. So this is the clue box and you can see the numbers here. So which is a number given 38. So from the clue box, just see which letter is for number 38. It is R. So let's write here R. Then 37. So which letter is for 37? H. So here we write H. Then 51. Which number letter is for 51? I. Then which letter is for 82? N. Then which letter is for 63? O. Then so which letter is for 76? C. Which letter is for 44? E. So which letter is for 38? R. Which letter is for 63? O. Which letter is for 60? S. So what is this name? Rhinoceros. The animal is rhinoceros. Then you have to match it with the animal. So rhinoceros. So like that you have to do the rest and then you have to match their names with the animals. So this also you can do and once you are done this you can send to Microsoft Teams. So we are done with the chapter. You can see the revision station. So there are following questions here. So options are also given. You have to read the question and you have to circle the correct options. Then there's a worksheet given here. You need to find the missing numbers in the circles given below. Missing numbers in the circles. And then you have to write the letters next to these numbers in the boxes given below. So 1, 2, 3. Which number comes after 3? 4. So in this box you have to write 4. Then 5, 6. There's a missing number. That is after 6, 7. Okay. Likewise, you have to fill in the missing numbers. Now, you have to write the letters below the boxes to decode a secret message. So here, for number 12, the letter is R. What about number 51? Which letter? After 49, that is 50. For 50, E is given. For 51, E is given. So, here you need to write E. Then 63. For 63 which letter? So see here S. So we'll write S here. Then what about 28? For 28 which letter? P. So you have to write P. So like that you have to write the letters. Then you'll get a secret message. So you have to decode that secret message. So this also you can do as an activity. Page number 134 and 135. So once you are done this, you can send to Microsoft Teams. So we are done with this chapter. Before that, in the last class, we discussed the addition table of 2. So the next addition table is 3. So just, so we will revise the addition table of 3. So you can also repeat it along with me. So 3 plus 1 equal 4. So what is 3 plus 2 equal 5. 3 plus 3 equal 6. 3 plus 4 equal 7. 3 plus 5 equal 8. 3 plus 6 equal 9. 3 plus 7 equal 10. 3 plus 8 equal 11. 3 plus 9 equal 12. 3 plus 10 equal 13. So how many times you need to repeat this? two times. You have to repeat the addition table of three two times. Okay, so we are done with this chapter. We'll meet in the next class with a new chapter. Till then, thank you.